Harajuku is famous for their quirky and fun shopping and today we're just going to do a very quick walkthrough in Takeshita Street. Hi guys, so we're in Harajuku today and we're going to check out how Takeshita Street looks like one year into the pandemic. Let's see how it looks like inside. Let's go! Before we continue with our walk, we're going to do a stopover and get some crepes from Marianne Crepes. Let's go check out what they have. Mm. This is how it looks like right now, um, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Now because it's getting a little bit crowded, um, and we don't want to be here when there's too many people. When you're ready to hop onto a different um, city or place here in Tokyo, the train station is just right here. Harajuku Station. So you just go through there, and it's just across Takashita Street. If you want to just walk, you can go to um, Shibuya or if you want to go see Shibuya Crossing or Hachiko Statue or just explore around Shibuya and just keep walking, it's about just a 10 minute walk. And if you want to go to Meiji Shrine or Yoyogi Park, it's that way and it's only about 5 to 10 minutes walk as well. So there's so many things to do within this area and it's actually much easier to walk rather than drive, which is what we did because parking can be really pricey. And um, just some info, um, Harajuku Station recently got renovated. So this is how the new Harajuku Station looks like. There's also a tourist information here, so if you want to find out more information about the area, this is the best spot to do it. It's just 
is right in front of this train station. It's really nice here in Harajuku. Uh, we just came from Takeshita Street and we're gonna head home now. I just wanted to show you how Takeshita Street looked like one year into the pandemic. So, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, drop it on the comment below and don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Till next time, bye!